Hey guys, welcome back to another unboxing video. Another unboxing video, I know, I know. But this time, it's something special. It's a rare device. Well, for me at least, it's quite rare. I think this version of the device that I'm currently gonna unbox is quite rare too. So let's go inside the box here. All right. What is this? We got a crappy blue cable. And then we just gotta take it from the box. I don't really mind. That's it. All right, there it is. You can see a little peak there. Can you guys find out what it is? Let me pick it up from there because I'm too lazy. We gotta do that. Ooh. Ooh, what is this? This is an iPod Touch 5th generation, which which has a ding, some dings on the, on the bottom. But this one is a special iPod Touch and a rare iPod Touch because this is the one with a 16 gigabyte and doesn't have the back camera. Oh, that feels weird. <laughs> the looking at this, is feels, it feels wrong. It feels wrong. <laughs> and it doesn't have the iPod Touch loop. So yeah, this is a rare device and then Apple once I think iOS 7 comes up, they reintroduce the 16 gigabyte model again, but with the colors and back camera and loop. But when the iOS 6 era of the 16 gigabyte touch 5, this is what it is. Of course, first things first, we're gonna sanitize it. All right, so we got the weird iPod touch and we got the normal iPod touch. This is the fifth gen, you can see that with the loop. You can see, yeah, it's uh, it's very different. It looks like an Apple TV remote. Seriously, it looks like an Apple TV remote, especially with the silver color. And comparing it with the iPod Touch 7 here, I got this a silver Touch 7. They are actually, this one is like more matte. This one is like more more shinyish. I don't know. I mean, you guys can see the difference. Or maybe it's just the same. Or maybe it's just my eyes. And also the antenna for the Wi-Fi are more reflective versus this one are not so really on the touch seven let's say the touch five does that too no you're only on the touch five 16 gig maybe because of this it's like more a more shinier plastic of course the button are also plastic compared to the normal touch five here colored buttons where is it colored volume buttons you can see this one is only black but overall all color on the inside too, it's like a black one overall See, the same iPod, both, but this one is just, uh, it's a little weird. Also, since there's no back camera, they are moving the back-facing microphone uh, to the top near the power button because you can see on the normal iPod Touch 5, they're between the um, flash and the camera module. So yeah, maybe the microphone pickup will be much better, I guess, I don't know. All right, without further ado, by the way, this iPod, is running iOS 6. So we gotta do a speed comparison real quick here of booting it up. iOS 9.3.5 versus iOS 6.1, 6.0.2 in fact. You don't believe me? Well, then watch this, man. It's all right, so three, two, one. So you can see about the old Apple logo there. Oh, there you go. You don't believe me? There it is. This iPod Touch is running iOS 6. Here it is again. General, about 6.0.1 actually. Wow, I thought it was 6.0.2. 6.0.1. iPod Touch 5th gen. Look at iOS 9. Eh? Very, very slow. Look at this old camera and all that. Look at that. Look at this. Wait a minute. Wait for it. There, that old shutter. Look how slow it is on iOS, look how slow it is iOS 9. I will downgrade this thing to iOS 8, I mean, because, you know, you can't downgrade it to iOS 6 and all that. I wish I could downgrade it to iOS 7, but we can. Oh my god, it took so long. <laughs> well, oh, oh, well, we got an Iron Man wallpaper here. Looks like the screen looks good. Oh, that lag, Ugh. Ooh, that lag. Oh, we got some apps. UC browser, eh? Hey. The Indonesian browser, eh? Indonesian very love that browser. Um, about... Basically, you check a look at the software, it's boring, 9.3.5, Apple Touch, um, 5th gen. Oh, that lag. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> that's weird. You don't have the flashlight toggle. Oh, this is, there's something new, man. There's just something that's special with this 16 gig no camera iPod Touch, man. Look at that. 
All right, compared to my iOS 9 6S here, you can see the difference. You don't, you do, you do not have that flashlight toggle. That looks weird. <laughs> that looks really weird. I mean, you, looking at this, the 9.3 series with the night shift is a little weird. Now looking at this, it's just way more weird in terms of the software difference. Okay, let's open up camera and appreciate sure the camera is only gonna open the front camera and there's no camera switching or nothing. <laughs> You're just stuck at the front cam. Wow. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that a software bug that the, the, the record button right there? Huh? No. Wait, is it really a bug? No, it's... Wait, why does it do that? I don't know. It may be a bug or maybe it's not, but yeah. Something's just weird with the... This 16 gig iPod, man. No, 16 gig, no camera iPod. All right, there's nothing to be checked. That still looks weird. <laughs> and with that, that's all for the video. Yeah, a very interesting iPod. You, you, this thing is a very, very rare iPod, man. Because as I said, the next generation, when they launch with iOS 7, they just come up with a normal color. Like basically, it's just the same thing with the camera and the loop. There's nothing special, unlike these. Look at that. That still looks weird. <laughs> Looking at it in person, it just looks weird because this version of iPod is doesn't even sell in Indonesia, man. They only selling this normal 32 and 64 one. All right, so that's it for the unboxing of the rare iPod Touch fifth generation, 16 gigabyte without the back camera. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace. Hey, what's up? It's me a day after I did the unboxing video and I have a quick update about the 16 gig iPod Touch. So, uh, I don't know, I don't think I show you guys yet, but the iPod, uh, when I got it yesterday, it was supposed to be iCloud free. Hey, yeah, you know where this goes, all right? So, I was able to get into the home screen and take a look at the iCloud settings. All right, so here's the page for when I buy the iPod. I'm not gonna scroll anymore because I don't want to blast the seller. I mean, I don't blame the seller this time. It's just because he got that iPod from another person. He just basically sell it. But the listing said is the iCloud is empty. You can see there, iCloud empty. And here we are on the hello screen. And I will tell you guys one thing because I, as I said in the video, I was about to kind of downgrade this iPod to iOS 8. And when I tried to plug it into iTunes, it greeted me with a screen that is saying activation lock. So I was like, oh no, could it be? Could it be? And then I tried to reset it via settings. It reset it, but it skipped the setup.app application. And so I got a, I finally noted that this iPod was bypassed by the new uh, bypass trick by with the Areduno and the all that tools. I just take a look at the videos. And now this is what happened to the iPod. Bam. It's freaking iCloud lock. It's kind of sad, eh? This iPod charge a rare one. It's iCloud lock at the moment. So yeah, the seller was, they, he basically ran away because I already Confirm, confirm the purchase that I got a good that I got the device and perfectly working and all that. But then when I try to reset it, I immediately created with an activation lock. So yeah, this iPod is now iCloud lock. Yeah, it's sad.